Hello, Gary Cody. Uh, what I want to do today here is I want to introduce you into the engage of the step of the 5e lesson process. And in the engage step, that's the first one that we try to get these students uh, involved, get them excited about a lesson. And what I want to do today is I want to do uh, what we call the airplane activity. So you're going to need a um, piece of paper, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Maybe uh, you need some scissors. All right, and possibly uh, something to mark on the paper with. But uh, as, uh, as I wait here, I'm gonna let you uh, get your materials together. <clears throat> and as, as we look at these materials, what's, what's kind of interesting about these materials? I mean, uh, are these materials that you only have at school? Uh, or are these materials that students possibly could have at home? You don't have to set them up with some special things. So sometimes you might want to think about that. It depends whether you're teaching online or whether you're doing your face-to-face -face teaching there. So anyway, hopefully you got a piece of paper. Uh, let's start out here. First of all, what I'd like you to do is take that piece of paper and fold it in half lengthwise because I want to get a nice uh, line down the center here so uh, we can do some of our following steps. So give it a nice crease. So basically we just folded it lengthwise like so. And I'm going to flatten it back out. Now I'm going to grab this upper corner. Me, it's my left corner there. And I'm going to crease that, put a little crease in it, fold it down. I'm going to bring the opposite side down right about to the center, put a nice little crease into that. All right, so your paper should look like this, two ends folded down, two corner flaps. Next I'm going to grab it like an envelope, like that lid on an envelope, and I'm going to fold it right down to this spot right here. So let's fold this like we're folding the uh, envelope over so I get something that looks just like that and then next I want to grab the left corner again and I'm going to fold that left corner down to there give it a crease I'm going to grab that right corner I'm going to fold that right corner down for a crease on it. So basically it looks like this. All right, now, this is when you could take your scissors. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put a little mark on here so you can see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take these two flaps that we just folded over last. I'm gonna put a little mark on them, like so, and so. Those two little corners right there. And if you got scissors, great, you can cut them out. If not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip mine out here, see how I do. Remember, I'm just ripping that section that we folded over, not anything underneath it. So I'm just gonna rip that out. That section that we just folded over. And then I'm going to rip the other side out. Come on, let's cooperate here. Maybe I should grab the scissors. As I'm doing this, what's uh, what's kind of great about this? I mean, what uh, what's uh, what aspect of this is kind of cool? All right, so I ripped those two corners off. And if you see, I've got a little tab right here, right underneath. I got a little tab. So I'm gonna put my finger under that and I'm gonna push these two down. And then I'm just gonna kind of lift that tab up and fold it like so. So that little tab is kind of locking that in right there for us. Next, I'm gonna take this sheet of paper and turn it over. Flip it over so that little tab is on the bottom. And then I'm going to take my paper, turn it a little bit sideways, and then start to fold it. Remember, we we're making a paper airplane. So it's starting to look like a paper airplane. 
I really like this paper airplane. This one's cool. This is probably the best paper airplane that I've ever built out of all the years. So, all right, so we got it. It's kind of folded like that. Now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna fold this side down. I don't know, maybe about to an inch. You know, right about, right about there. So I'm gonna fold this side down like so. I'm going to flip my plane over and I'm going to fold the other side down, kind of meet it on the other side there. So now basically I got something that looks like this. All right. Then I'm going to take this end right here and I'm going to fold that little end up. And then I'm going to fold the other end up. All right, we got our airplane together here. Hey, it looks kind of neat. It looks more like a jet, you know. So why don't you take that thing and then toss that over your shoulder, let it fly back uh, across the room and uh, see how it goes. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, why don't you pick it up and bring it back because we're not done with it yet. Uh, we're going to add a little, another little detail to it. Once again, I'm going to get out my marker here because I want to mark it on here and show you what I'm doing. Put a couple of little marks right there. Let me show you where that's at. Right there on the plane. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to grab my scissors. And I'm just going to, and you can tear it. I mean, I'm just going to cut these right here. And I'm going to fold these up. Fold these up. And these, uh, these are like, uh, you know, uh, well, I don't know. On a wing, they'd be flaps or ailerons. But at the back of the plane, it'd be an elevator. So we just created an elevator on the back. So let that thing fly. Let's see what it does this time. Toss that across the room. See what happens with it. Maybe as you're doing this, to have a little documentation. Uh, you know, have the kids bring it back. Say, hey, what happens if you fold these down? What does it do? You know, do some distance. Um, but anyway, this, once again, what's so great about this? What is nice about this? First of all, let's take a look at the materials. These are all materials that students would have at home if you're doing some online um, uh, training there with them, online teaching. Uh, what else is great about it? And what, what's great about CTE? What is, what is great about CTE and all the classes that we teach in CTE? Hands-on, hands-on, exactly, exactly. So this is a great little introductory project. Now, obviously, um, you know, if you got a foods class or a business class or something else, you need, you need to think of some other little theme, but this is just to get you into the idea of thinking about uh, what that engage process is for the students. You need to do something for the students that's fun. So uh, anyway, I wanna, wanna thank you and uh, Remember, this is just that engaged part of the 5E process. And uh, let's see, see what you can do to engage with your students out there. Thank you. Bye.